What's going on everybody? Brandon Schaefer here. Thanks for joining me. So this past week, what happened this past week? I went, I repainted some of this sketch. As you can see here, it's a little more finished looking, a little more updated, filled in more of the hair, everything. This is probably as far as I'm going to take it because I just, any more that I work on it, I just, I feel like it's going to ruin it. I can't really get, really dig in there and get more subtle. It's just, uh, I've kind of reached my end point here, but I took it back to the museum and compared it and it's pretty close. There's obviously some errors and some things that are off, but I'll, I'll show some photos here for you guys and just show the differences. A lot of subtle differences that I made, uh, overall skin tones, you know, overall just, you know, really fixing things up uh, based on these notes here. And the funny thing was, so I took it back to the museum, I actually wrote a, a lot more notes on my phone. I'll probably post it here on the screen, but I was, I was really nitpicking every little thing you know, this needs more yellow. I actually took out the yellow that I needed. So it did need some yellow ochre. Uh, you know, there's just all kinds of things everywhere. So, but I'm happy with, with the effort that I put in. I'm, I'm kind of, you know, I'm just, I'm just happy with the way it came out. And I know there's some mistakes and things with it, but the point, I'm glad that I was able to get it to this level and I'm looking forward to just progressing and, and doing more of these in the future. And so that brings me to the next thing is on the other page, across from it, is one I've started. Uh, I drew this the other night. This is another painting from that same museum that I've been going to, the Crocker Art Museum in Sacramento. And I'm not going to lie, this sketch, uh, I was sketching it from a, f a reference photo that I took on my computer, on my phone, that I had on the computer. And I literally, it took me all evening uh, to sketch this. I, I literally started over and erased it probably five to six times. Like there was one time where I really spent like an hour really getting, measuring things and figuring out and then I, I just started over because it was not lining up. So I finally got it to where I wanted and now I've put three layers of, of clear gesso on the sketch. So this is kind of different. I started out with the sketch and now I'm doing clear gesso over it, something else I learned from uh, Cesar Santos. But it, it's a cool method. I, I really like it. It's, this one, I gessoed the page and then I sketched on top of that gesso. And I found that the pencil, having the pencil marks there, it just kind of dirtied the first layer of paint that I put down and it was hard to fix the drawing. If I would have done that with this one, it probably would have been a disaster because I had to redraw this so many times. So I got the sketch down on the page and then I put three layers of clear gesso on it. And um, I'm just waiting for the gesso to dry. Probably tomorrow I'll start. I'm gonna tone it all. Just a, a, a thin layer of, of tone of uh, like raw umber or something just to give it a nice skin tone to work with. And then I'll add, I'll should be, I should be able to see the sketch still even with that on top of it. Then I could go in with the darks and the lights and I already have a mid-tone value. So that's how I'm gonna kind of approach that. Uh, that's pretty much all that's been done in my sketchbook so far. So hope you guys enjoyed seeing that and how I'm progressing with that this past week. Something else I worked on uh, just recently, probably yesterday or um, yeah, last night I worked on this uh, reworking a landscape. So there's a few, there's probably like four more other landscape paintings that I'm going to rework uh, and I'm ordering frames right now testing out some frames and I'm gonna be going to the store buying some frames. I found uh, a good supply of frames I could get for all these landscape paintings. So I'm gonna keep on keeping on with that. And uh, I'm really happy with how these landscapes are coming out, the reworking of them. And I uh, hope they're gonna fit more, they'll fit more in with the ones that, I, that I've had hanging on the wall forever. Um, these are kind of the first ones that I did of the whole series and I was really limiting my values. I was limiting the darks and limiting the lights. So all the, the, the values, even though there's a difference of values within the paintings, it's a very narrow range of values. So I'm really expanding that, getting the light and darks in there, really bumping up the contrast and uh, just overall quality. So now it'll fit more in with the rest of the paintings I have. And uh, then I'm just gonna be varnishing those framing them and trying to get a show, man. Trying to, I'm gonna really start uh, going around the town, Sacramento and my town, Davis. And I know there's a gallery that'll probably give me a solo showing. So that's 
that's my main focus right now. Well, one of my main focuses. Some of the other things I'm working on are just, you know, I'm, I'm really setting myself monthly goals to do now and um, just trying to hit all those monthly goals. So all these panels that I showed you guys two weeks ago or something of uh, portrait studies that I'm doing, I think I have five in progress right now, including the one of my girlfriend. So four other master copies. I'm gonna have those, I'm gonna try to have those finished by the end of this month, along with this painting here, which I'll probably finish this week or so. Uh, I'll probably do the first layer this week and then on the weekend I'll go and compare it at the museum. It's interesting, this, these skin tones are completely different than this one. And that's something I wanted to do. I actually, I wanted to have this painted already because uh, tomorrow is when, they, uh, when they're open late. There's one day of the week where the museum's open late and I went there last week when it was open late and it was empty, man. I just, it's like I have the whole museum to myself and I would just sat there and studied this painting for like 20 minutes just looking at it up close like, wow, that's crazy. So this one, the skin tones are much more uh, orangey, tan, much darker. I mean, this is very, very pale, uh, especially when you look out in the museum, it's like so pale. And when I held this up to this, uh, in front of this painting at the museum, when I held my skin tones up from this painting up to the male one, it's completely different. So it, it'll be interesting, it'll be a fun exercise for me to kind of have balance these two and and see the difference and uh, just studying and, and taking note of things and um, figuring out these mixtures and stuff like that for skin tone. So uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Oh, and the interesting thing is, so this painting is actually, I think it's a German painting. And it actually has a pair, it's actually a pair of paintings. There's a woman and a man. They're both painted by the same artist, but the artist is unknown. The museum on the little placard, it says, Artist unknown. So if anybody wants to know the artist of this one, unknown, we don't know. But it's painted around uh, 1840s. So I'll be sure to show you guys that. Maybe eventually I'll do like a little video within me in, at the museum. That should be pretty cool maybe. Um, this one is uh, painted by Alexander Ross, Roslin, R-O-S-L-I-N. So he has some pretty good paintings. You can see a close-up of this one online somewhere, but the color is way off. It's, it's way too much red in it, in the photo that I've seen. So Alexander Roslin, and this painting is called uh, The Painter and Valer Coster. So anyway, so that's my focus, man. I'm, I'm focusing on getting these portraits and, and just, you know, really getting them to a nice finish, these master copies learning in my sketchbook. You know, obviously I'm still gonna, um, I'll probably do some other drawings and stuff. I did a, uh, actually, if I can take the tape off of this real quick here, I taped up the the page here when I was gessoing it. I can show you guys, I did an eye study as well, oil painting of an eye study from an Alexander Rosslyn painting, another Alexander Rosslyn painting. So underneath this flesh, sphere that I have here. I did a little eye study and uh, I'm going to do a few other ones I think just from other artists to see like just differences in how they have their finish. You know I tried to really copy his like how he painted it and I mean that's really what master copy is is trying to just not really brush stroke for brush stroke but to that level of finish that's what kind of what I'm going what I'm trying to say. So that's his kind of finish and some of the skin tones there. So I may do like a Sargent one and a Bouguereau and uh, some other artist, I'm not sure. I'm kind of blanking out right now. I have some other artists. Um, Sir Thomas Lawrence, I think, maybe. So a few more artists, um, you know, I'm still gonna do some sketching. I need to write some notes and things down and you know, just just learning, man. Just learning and, and trying to figure some things out. But, uh, I think in the coming weeks and stuff, maybe next month, I may end up doing like a full uh, landscape in here. I've never really done a landscape the way that I've done portraits, like applying that kind of three-step method. So I may try that with like some kind of landscape. And it, it probably won't be like a forest landscape. I might try to do something different, maybe like ocean scene with waves and rocks or something. I'm not 100% sure yet, but uh, so looking forward to doing that. 
but like I said, this, my main focus, um, portraits, these master copies, but also getting these paintings framed and getting a show. So I'm reworking some of them so that I'm, I will be happy selling them. You know, I don't want to sell something that's, or show something that's lower quality than, than uh, you know, the rest of the groups of paintings. So I'm just trying to bring up some of them to that level of quality that I want uh, for my landscapes and for this showing. And we'll see what goes happens from there. So that's pretty much been my week and what I have planned. So hope you guys enjoy this little video. You know, I'm kind of liking this little format of just like documenting what I've been doing. You know, doing these tutorials and stuff. It's it's really difficult right now. We're working on tidying the apartment right now. There's things everywhere, so it's really hard for me to make videos and set up stuff and move the lights around. It's just it's it's really impossible for me to do right now. So. Um, just doing what I can do at this time, but interesting. Uh, here's one last thing for you guys before I let you go. I know your time is very valuable. I appreciate you watching. So just recently, my girlfriend and I had a note at the door and it was saying that it's time for us to renew our lease on our apartment for August, because this is a college town, so everything is centered around kind of, uh, everybody moves in and out around August when school is about to begin. And we decided we're not renewing our lease at this apartment. My girlfriend's gonna be finishing school in May, law school, and we're gonna be moving about seven miles north to another town named Woodland. And uh, I don't know, man, we, we probably need to start looking for an apartment there, but I'm not really sure what kind of schedule they're on. If it's more open, you can get a lease anytime. So that's something we really need to do because we're not staying here in August. So we're looking, what's gonna be, why I'm telling you this is, we're hopefully gonna get a apartment or a house or something, whatever it's gonna end up being, whatever we can afford at that time and whatever is available at that moment. Multiple rooms, so this will give me a studio room to work into. Uh, Cause right now I'm just using the corner of my apartment. There's no other room in this apartment that has a door where I can like film stuff and record stuff. So hopefully come August, September, October, I'll be able to paint, film stuff. I'm gonna be trying to film every day, make a video every day and just um, you know, document all my process and just document everything, man. Um, but, but really have more time to paint, you know, have a separate room and then you know, if, if I feel like making videos and stuff, it'll be a lot easier for me to do and I'll have more time to do that hopefully. But, um, Really, my main focus is just focusing on my paintings. But YouTube is a big part of that because it, it actually fuels my ability to paint, you know, having the the capital behind me to, to buy the supplies and stuff. Um, but hopefully, I'll be relying on that less if I get these shows going, get some paintings sold and stuff. So anyway, just some big news there, man. I may, I'll probably say that in another video as well by itself, but uh, yeah, we're gonna be moving out of here. This year, finally, I've been living here for five years and we've almost upgraded twice and we just didn't do it because we wanted to save money. But this year is the year we're moving out and it's gonna be a big year, man, for me, I think, in my art my art journey. This is a, really a turning point and I think in the next few years, two to three years, I'm hoping my art thing is gonna take off, man. I'm looking forward to it and uh, hopefully I can start making a living just with my art stuff and maybe one day quit my day job. But uh, for now, I'm just gonna keep that because <laughs> uh, I don't wanna be broke. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. I know your time is very valuable. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this little video. If you have any questions or anything you want me to talk about in the next episode, just let me know down below in the comments. I'd love to hear from you guys. Hope you've been doing well. Hope the art's going well. Keep on painting and drawing. Don't get discouraged. Take care of yourself. Peace, my friends.